The third thing is having a, a mindset that's prepared for intellectual discomfort. I think for a lot, and this is true for all of us, right? We, we get in our echo chambers. Um, no matter what I do on Facebook, I'm just constantly bombarded with the same six or seven types of ideas from the same 15 news sources. Like it's just constantly reiterating what I already think about the world, the administration, um, foreign policy, environment, all of it, right? And so they're operating in those similar thought bubbles. And what I what I hope to help students prepare, what I hope to help them prepare to do is to experience challenging views, not as something to overcome, but as possibilities for changing your mind, um, which I think we're very comfortable saying other people, other people out there, they need to change their minds and be open to opposing uh, points of view, but we very rarely, I think, ourselves do that work. And I think it's very important for us to model that for students and also to encourage students to be wrong. Like it's, oh, it's great. What a triumph, right? To read something that changes your mind and you go, I used to think this, but now I think that, um, to kind of get them to indulge themselves in terms of like changing your mind. Like the, you know, their consistency is not a goal. The goal is not to be consistent. The goal is to evolve to something closer and closer to what you think is the truth with a capital T. So I, I we read a lot of challenging texts in the summer, um, things that I don't necessarily agree with, but I think are well crafted in terms of argument. And I say, no, let's like, what do you, let's confront this challenging idea and maybe it'll change your mind a little bit. But I think letting go of pet beliefs, cherished beliefs, um, things that they have sort of um, begun to think as givens that are fixed, um, that are part of their identity almost, when they really are just points of view. Um, that is also very difficult for, for students across the board. And I think preparing them for the joys and the pleasures of changing your mind and being wrong. And as painful as it is, it's often also extremely powerful and precious to me um, when I'm wrong about something. <laughs>